gracefully. How many of you have had to eat soup and men, you've ended up with it all over your tie? Or ladies, it's all over your silk blouse, you're like, really? I just bought this blouse and it's okay. A couple of different things. First of all, the soup is too hot. How many of you have ever taken ice out of your water glass and put it in your soup? <laughs> I have. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Boy, yeah. At home, yeah. Yeah, right? At home, who cares? You close the blinds, nobody knows. Yeah, yeah. Out in public, no, you don't do that. If it's too hot, you either skim it from the sides or you gently stir it to help it cool down. You don't pick it up and blow on it because then you're blowing soup at everybody else on the table. <laughs> Right? To avoid the splash, you always eat away from you. So you take the spoon to the middle of the bowl, out to the edge. And if there's anything hanging off, you can knock it off at that point. If you have noodles, you don't want them slipping down your face and everything else. Or if you have wonton soup, it has that nice big right in the middle, and you're like, how in the world am I supposed to eat that thing? You cut it, okay? One bite at a time. Where do you place your spoon between bites? They've actually got that in the wrong position. It goes the same place as it does with the fork. So it's going to go from center to four. If that was in the picture I can find. Sorry. So, in between bites, it'll go from there to there. If it is a cup of soup, you will rest your spoon on the, the platter or the um, saucer underneath your cup. Okay? Are we finding this helpful? Yeah. Yes. 